Okay, so what other credit cards would you refer aside from the My Jewelers Club and the New Coast Direct? Oh, well, let me say this. When it comes down to the My Jewelers Club and the New Coast Direct, the only reason why people is getting these credit cards to begin with is because they want to have higher limit trade lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you guys want to have higher limit trade lines, you may tr add it to your credit reports. You may up. Uh, you probably signed up for like the My Jewelers Club and uh, the New Coast Direct because each company will give you a five thousand dollar line and they'll report it to the credit bureaus. But right now they're having issues with their reporting. And if anybody see that anything is changing on their end, definitely let me know in the comments. But I know for sure like they're not reporting for me anymore. I think maybe one on one account, but I think it's actually all the way gone. If if it's stuck on anyone, it has to be my experience because I don't see it. I don't see it at all, like on Credit Karma at all. So I keep checking on Credit Karma to see like the updates and that's how I knew like it was gone. But I know for sure they're only reporting, that if they're reporting at all, it's reporting probably only to Experian. So a lot of people only wanted that just to boost their credit score and to, to make it seem like they have higher limit credit cards. So I always tell people, hey, won't you try to get the two more credit card? With that credit card, they're not going to check your credit. And I believe, um, I haven't been seeing in a while, but I believe that will go up to $10,000. So I always tell people, try to apply for that. They're just going to look into your bank account, see what type of deposits you have coming in and see how much they'll approve you of approve you for a base off of that. And like I told you guys, I applied for it. I applied for it back in September. I finally got the application in November. Hopefully it's a faster process to do that. But that's a credit card where they're not going to check your credit and they're going to add that, you know, a higher limit credit limit credit card onto your credit report. So hopefully you guys have good banking Ooh, excuse me, have good banking history because if you do, then you can go ahead and just try to get that credit card. And when that's added, your credit score should really go up a lot. But I only really see them reporting to my Equifax though. And I'll have to look on my experience again, but I I believe it's only reporting to Equifax. And when they report it, they actually reported it later than um, me actually getting the card. So I got approved in November. I don't think they started reporting until like January or February. So their reporting is kind of tricky. And I always tell people too, if you're looking to get the My Jewelers Club and a new new Coast Direct credit card, you may need to just start building your credit because at some point, at some you know some point or some time, you're gonna want to have your credit just all the way together so that you can get any credit card that has a high limit. You know, people are getting approved for a high limits all the time. It's just that their credit is good so that they're they're not looking for my jewelry stuff in a new post already. So if you want to start off, you want to start off, you know, your credit is bad. Start with the Navy Fed credit card. I always tell people the Navy Fed secure credit card. Yeah, you have to put up two hundred dollars, but in six months, they're going to increase that to a two thousand dollar credit card. So you're going to start off with the blue credit card with them. And then after that, they're going to increase. They're going to give you an increase to two thousand dollars. And on top of giving an increase, they want to see your new credit card, which is going to be that green credit card. So I always tell people to definitely do that just to start building credit. And it's not the five thousand dollars, but it's a real credit card like you can really use it. My Jewelers Club, you have to pay ninety five dollars, ninety nine dollars per year. Same with New Coast Direct. And if you stop paying, they're going to stop reporting anyway. So I rather you guys have like an actual credit card that you're building like history with, because like if you start building history in Navy Fed, I see a lot of people all the time getting approved for fifteen, twenty thousand dollar credit card so definitely i want you guys to build a relationship with navy fed and you can start building that relationship with only two hundred dollars a secure credit card six months they go to two thousand when you get that increase you can apply for another credit card with navy fed but i really want us to start building relationships with actual credit card companies like seriously you have to build a relationship don't just depend on like the my jewelers club and the new coast direct or you'll really be stuck so hopefully that answered your question on who I suggest you guys go with. So I suggest if you're looking for those, that means your credit may not be the best. That means that you may want to just start with Navy Fed and just build your way up from there. And you guys, too, 